Yo, yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Gary Spencer. How's everybody doing? Gonna make this. I'm gonna make this video on my on my top four Sonic games on the Sega Genesis, of course. And you guys know that's my, that's uh, my main game, of course. It's my uh, favorite game of all time on uh, Sega Genesis. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my first my uh, top four Sonic games. Number one, we have right here, and you guys already know what it is. Sonic One. Yeah, Sonic One. This is definitely my child. It's definitely uh my childhood right here. Um, you know, I'm I'm, I'm uh, impressed and um I like to cover this game and also inside the gameplay is uh pretty good and decent. Um, the only thing you can't do on there is a spin dash, but um also there's a um, I looked on looked on one year the um on the Sonic Sonic Jam game um of this game on there and he he was able to do the spin dash on here and I'm like hmm. But anyway, but yeah, this is my main game right here. I like the cover of it. The gameplay in there is decent. Um, you know, a few levels I like. I like the first level, the third level, and then the, uh, you know, Starlight level. Those are like my favorite levels right there. Spring Yard, of course. Spring Yard in the first level. Um, I also remember playing this, um, playing this over my, you know, over my, one of my old friend's house, um, back in, uh, back when I was in the fifth grade, um. He had he had um he actually had this on the uh, on the six pack um six pack game cartridge uh the six pack game and he also had the um Dreamcast version of this which is on the Smash Pack uh game and that's the one I also have too but like I like this game like if it, it, when I first, when I was playing over his house like I was excited playing this game again and I realized how much I missed it so um. Yeah, Sonic 1, y'all. Yeah, I love it, and I always will. Beating it so many times, and I'll beat it many more. <laughs> Number two is Sonic 2. Now, Sonic 2, I also remember, I also remember owning this game just like I owned, owned Sonic 1 on the Sega Genesis. Yeah, I remember my dad bought me this game. Um, the furthest I got to this level when I, when I played this years ago um, when I played this years ago, um, I'm, I've only gotten to the third, le only gotten to the third level, but I didn't, um, get any fur. I didn't get past the third level. At least that's what I could remember. This is also one of the games I remember playing on the Sega Genesis kiosk at, um, at Sears. Um, and it, you know, like I said, the, um, the cover of this, uh, the cover art of this case looks nice. Um, the inside of the game, the inside of the gameplay is uh is good. Um, graphics is uh nice. Um, you know everything about it is good. You could do the spin dash and um, the special stages is better. And this is um, this is one of the Sonic games that has one of the best special special stages in this game. You know better than the first better than the first Sonic, which was one of the things I didn't like about Sonic One was. I didn't like the special stage, but, um, and this one, the special stage is, uh, good in this game, you, you know, beat all seven, beat, um, beat seven of them and get all the Chaos Emeralds, you could turn into Super Sonic, uh, this game is also longer than the first one, than the first Sonic itself, um, especially doing the special stages in between levels, but this also has more levels too, then, you know, there's also the, um, there's also the bad Sonic, and, um, I also remember having the uh, having a PC version of this game, which was on a, which was on the um, probably like the second Smash Pack game. But yeah, I remember I, I was having trouble when I got to the airplane level. Like I didn't, I had no clue where I was going because I was close to getting to the soup, the bad Sonic. But um, eventually, I found I found my way and I got to the bad Sonic. Um, I think he beat me the first time, and but then eventually I found. I, I found a strategy to get him, so now I was able to beat him. But then I had to, um, then um, I had to fight against Botnik's robot, and then took me time took me time to beat him. But you know, I beat him. So Sonic Two, this is one of the best games right here. So definitely get it, y'all. You know, also memories too, and also remember playing this. Um, my uncle's uh, roommate also used to have this game too on his Sega Genesis too. So. Sonic 2, um, definitely that game too, so. Alright, and then number 3 is Sonic 3. Now, Sonic 3, I definitely remember having this game. I didn't own it, but uh, 
My dad rented my dad rented it for me years ago. Um, I guess after it came out or whenever. But anyway, this is also this is also a good game. Uh, the inside of the gameplay is uh good. Um, Knuckles is in this game. Knuckles is in this game too, as and that that happens to be his eyes in the background and that in the bushes. Of course, you guys could see looks creepy and scary. But yep, that's Knuckles. So he's in this game, y'all. And uh, you know the and then um the music in this game is nice. Um, if you if you put this card, if you play the cartridge itself, um, play this cartridge itself. Um, the music is the music in the uh, main theme song is different compared to when you put it inside the Sonic and Knuckles uh, cartridge. Um, it has the Michael Jack. It also has the Michael Jackson uh, theme when you every time you you step the Knuckles and also in the Casino Night. But the, also the special stages in this uh, game is uh, good. Um, and I could all, and the furthest I, I remember getting to was uh, this was the uh, second level, which was the. Uh, the Hydro City level, I, I kept on getting stuck in the water trying to get out. Then my older brother had to help me get out get out of there because um, he obviously knew his way around because he obviously played this probably before I did. And I also remember playing this. Um, I think this was also one of the games I also played on the kiosk, uh, the Sega Genesis kiosk. And I also remember playing this at, um, you know... My cousin, one of my cousins, had this uh, game years ago on his Sega Genesis, and um, I was playing this with him. Um, but yeah, this is also this is a good game. This is like the one of the best uh, Sonic games to get. So, um, and then also I like the Game Over theme song, which I think which is better than the Game Over theme song in Sonic One and Two. Some people find the Game Over theme song and it's a uh, game scary, but what's scary about it? But I don't get game overs in Sonic, and you guys ain't never going to see me get a game over, a time over in Sonic, so. I don't mean to sound cocky, but it's the truth, so that's that's number three. Last is um Sonic and Knuckles. Now, Sonic and Knuckles, this is, Sonic and Knuckles is also good, is also one of the best Sonic games. You could, uh, you could, um, as you can see up here, you could uh, put um, Sonic 2 in here. You could play Sonic 2 um, in this um, game and uh, play with Knuckles and Sonic 2. And of course, you could do Sonic 3. And I remember playing um, Sonic 2, you know, Sonic 2, um, you know, Sonic 2 with this um, inside this game card as you, a long time ago, you know, playing Sonic 2 with Knuckles. But the problem is, like, Knuckles, like, when I was, when I was at the Robotnik's Robot, uh, Knuckles doesn't jump as high as Sonic, so he doesn't really have as much uh, agility in his legs as Sonic and Tails does. But he, basically, Knuckles he just has a uh, strength and speed to me, but he doesn't really have a lot of agility in his legs to jump higher and all uh, higher. So that was I didn't really like it that way. So, but Sonic Three, you know, you play Sonic Three in this one, the whole it's like um this the um. The main intro theme to this um to this uh, game is it um is happens to be on Sonic and three I mean Sonic three and um and uh, Knuckles' theme song Knuckles' uh, music is um is different and better um you know different playing Sonic three in this uh, cartridge right here and like basically the music and the invincibility music is a uh, different so like that's like the only difference is like yeah the music is a uh, different and also um you know com playing sonic 3 and this com uh together combine it together basically you play half of the levels on sonic 3 and then after that you go right to sonic and knuckles um and you do the levels from there now um i mean also but i remember playing this years ago on the sega genesis kiosk at um at a uh, Sears, um, I found it to be a pretty good game. You know, gameplay is um, gameplay inside is good. Um, pretty good levels and music and um, yeah. Um, this this is one of my one of the games that brings brings back memories. Um, you know, I like it. it's one of the best and also some good levels. And then like also like when you after you get the Super Sonic and like the Sonic Three um zones. You could also you have the opportunity to do the um, special stages in this one, and then get the super the uh, super mega Sonic if that's what you call it though. But you know, I, I haven't even gotten the uh, super mega Sonic though. 
Because I don't know, like sometimes you know, looking for them big rings that leads you to the special stages and some levels they hard to find. And like sometimes like if eat one little mistake could like cost you cost you the whole um cause you the whole level and it's like then it screws everything up though. So my goal is to get the Super Mega Sonic though in this uh game though. But this is also good. Like I said, the theme song the main theme the intro um of this game is good. The theme song is good, the music, levels, everything. So definitely get this game, y'all. One of the best Sonic games. <clears throat> so Okay, y'all, but that's all I have for you guys. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, y'all know what to do. Leave y'all's comments and thoughts down below. Click that thumbs up. This is your boy, Gary Spencer. You guys take it easy, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember, y'all, once a gamer, always a gamer. Keep on gaming, y'all.